When I was a child, I had therapy and it was really bad. It was textbook bad and it put me off ever getting counseling for anything for years. And then I got to a point in my life where I had PTSD symptoms that were so bad, I had to get therapy. And when I got therapy, it was so good. It was, it was a totally different experience to what I'd had years before. And it was so life changing. It's hard to put to words how much it helped me. And that has been a big motivation for me wanting to become a therapist to help others so that other people could have this wonderful experience that I had. I've been working in what's called the helping professions for uh, over 25 years. Started off uh, working at a drug rehab and working at a halfway house for ex-offenders, became a youth worker and then became a pastor of a multicultural church in a big council estate in London. And as part of my training, I, I studied counseling um, for my degree and then for my doctorate. And my interest in counseling was, was getting increased as I studied it, but I didn't actually want to become a therapist. I wanted to use my counseling skills in the work I was doing, coming alongside people. And then someone suggested to me, hey, what, have you thought about becoming a therapist? And I was like, oh, no. And then someone else, not long after that, said to me, have you thought about becoming a, a therapist? Um, and in both cases, it was therapists who, who said this to me. And then I noticed that a lot of the people I was coming alongside and, and helping were commenting on how they were struggling to find a good therapist to see. And I started just getting a, a burning desire within me to train to become a therapist so that I might be someone who could help in this area, someone who's had that experience of having bad therapy and then of having good therapy and who hopefully can pass on the warm, safe kind of environment that I had when I had good therapy, pass that on to other people as they're walking through their problems. So I decided, okay, I will now train to become a qualified therapist and i i i was really passionate about coming alongside people and hearing their story and walking alongside them as they face difficult things seems to me that we all have difficult things to face in life um, sometimes things that are hard to just chat to a friend about and it can be really helpful having a therapist who you know is going to be non-judgmental who's going to be there for you and you can say anything to them and they can help you walk through whatever it is you're facing another thing that came up for me is that i've been working on council estates for years. I grew up on a council estate and I've been coming alongside people on council estates for years. And something that's consistently come up is trauma. And it seems a lot of us who've grown up on council estates have experienced trauma. And on top of that might not have got the help we needed to work through with that trauma. And I've often felt as I've worked as a pastor on a council estate that there's a lot of help I can't give people because first they need help with their trauma. So for me, um, training to be a therapist and particularly having an emphasis on trauma therapy for me is, is kind of like the logical conclusion for what I'm about it is, is trying to help people with a, with a very big need that's there that's not being met. So all those things there are the reasons why I started training a while back to become a therapist. And I'm just really excited that now I've started my placement, really excited that now I'll actually be seeing clients and coming alongside them in their journey. Take care.